Older Redditors, what do young people get completely wrong about past decades? Probably underestimating how few choices there were. Today, it seems like everything imaginable is available in a variety of sizes, delivered to your door overnight. Catalogs and mail order, with four to six week delivery. Malls were the best thing ever. All the stores in one place, and not downtown. Probably just how often you had to accept that you couldn't find out the answer to something. If you had a question you could ask your family, maybe your friends, maybe your teachers, and your last chance was to check the library. But if the library didn't have the answer, then you just had to accept that you weren't going to get an answer, or you'd have to hope to come across that answer someday in the future. Now you just ask Google and get 10 answers in just seconds. What quietly disappeared without anyone realizing it? Multi-disc changers. Privacy. Your laptop, desktop coming with MS Word and you only had to pay more if you wanted to upgrade. None of this subscription BS. ETA. Special mention to. How may I annoy the ever-loving hell out of you today? I-Y-K-Y-K. -Y -K. Red eyes in photos. Flash mobs. Funny thing is they disappeared as quickly as they showed up. Panama Papers Investigation. 3D TVs. Toys in cereal boxes. Man remember that time they gave out Roller Coaster Tycoon with cereal? I still have my lightsaber spoons somewhere haha. What's the dumbest mistake you've seen an incompetent co-worker make? My wife worked at a gas station and found out her co-worker, who had been there for years, had been refilling the napkin dispenser by cramming them one at a time through the front slot. She walked up and unfastened the back and apparently his jaw hit the floor. He had never considered that there might be a better way to do this. Working in pharmacy, a pharmacist gave a customer a flu shot and threw the used syringe in the container with the new syringes instead of the container to dispose them. Another pharmacist went to grab a new syringe later on and ended up getting stabbed with the used syringe. Caused a total shitstorm. Took the wrong coffin to a funeral. Someone else had to drive to the cemetery with the correct deceased on board, and thankfully they made it before the viewing. You absolutely sure this isn't the guy? Absolutely. How do you say blah 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 in your language? Ja 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 in my dialect in German, Bavarian. Funny enough that is ha 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 in Spanish. Yada yada yada. Oh no wait I mentioned the bisque. Blaha. Blaha. Literally means, nonsense, nonsense. Possible connection? What language? Yak yak yak. Don't talk back. My dad who's Italian says, ba 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 ba. But only on the when he's on the phone. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. Ba blah blah. Here's an upvote. Go see a Star War. Pala, pala, pala. Finish? Buck 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 in Hindi. This one's great. Puts me in mind of a lot of chickens squawking, which fits the sentiment. D. What's are you in the 1% of? Surviving a crossbow to the head. Directly between the eyes. Only one other person has been documented in surviving a crossbow head impact, and they became brain dead. Not only did I survive, but I still have enough brain function to type this out and even go to work on a daily basis. I'm very blessed to be here, and I do my best to not take it for granted. Edit. Apparently more people have survived this than I originally knew, and that's kinda cool to know. Edit 2. Holy crap I did not expect this to blow up so much. Thank you all so much for the kind words and awards. I'm not going to reply to everyone just because there's so many comments, but if you have a question feel free to ask and I'll do my best to respond.